Hi guys, WineTuber here. Well, in most cases, either at home or at the restaurant, wine is served too cold or too warm. Jesus, this is still boiling. So, what is the best temperature for serving wine? Let's find out! Before we start, I have to debunk why myth about serving red wine at the room temperature. Well, in the 19th century, room temperature was something between 17 to 19 degrees Celsius. In modern houses full of air conditioning, heating system, room temperature is between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. And in this temperature, wine cannot be served because it tastes horrible. So let's talk about the proper temperature for serving wines in details. Let's start with sparky wines. It's important to know that not all sparky wines should be served at the same temperature. Wines such as Prosecco, non-vintage Cava or inexpensive Champagne should be served at 6 to 8 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 43 to 46 Fahrenheit. Vintage Champagne, Vintage Cava, Reserva Corpinato or any other fully bodied sparkling wine will benefit from serving at 9 to 11 degrees Celsius, which is 48 to 52 Fahrenheit. By the way, why sparkling wine should be served chilled? Because slow the release of your bubbles. Light and crisp white wine should be served cold or chilled. Wines such as Sauvignon Blanc, Albarino, Riesling or unoaked Chardonnay need to be served around 7 to 9 degrees Celsius, which is 44 to 48 Fahrenheit. Oaky and more complex white wine such as Burgundy or my favorite appellation Condru or Oaky Chardonnay tastes best at 11 to 13 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 52 to 56 Fahrenheit. Most of the rosé wine tastes better when chilled. This is why I highly recommend to serve them in between 7 to 9 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 44 to 48 Fahrenheit. By the way, why white wine or rosé should not be served too cold? Because the cooler the wine, the less it will smell. Let's move on to the red wines. Light-bodied, especially young red wines, will benefit from being served slightly cooler. Wines made of Gamay, Mencia, Frappato or Zweigelt grapes taste best at 12 to 14 degrees Celsius, which is 54 to 57 Fahrenheit. Cooler temperature will lift up the acidity and freshness of the young red wine. Medium-bodied wines such as Sangiovese, Merlot, Garnacha or Carmenere will definitely benefit from serving them at 14 to 16 degrees Celsius, which is 57 to 61 Fahrenheit. And finally, fully bodied red wines such as Tana, Sagrantino, Cabernet Sauvignon or Turiga Nacional should be served at 16 to 18 degrees Celsius, which is 61 to 64 Fahrenheit. It's important to know that if your red wine is served above 20 degrees Celsius, the only thing that you can smell, it will be alcohol. This wine is at the moment at 24. Oh my God. And finally, quick guide to sweet wines. So, fortified wine such as Madeira, Tony or Ruby Port tastes amazing in between 15 to 17 degrees Celsius, which is 59 to 62 Fahrenheit. Sweet wines such as Vin Santo, Sautern, Recciotto della Valpolicella or Riesling taste best at 8 to 12 degrees Celsius, which is 47 to 54 Fahrenheit. What to do if your wine is too warm, if that situation happens in the restaurant, of course, use the ice bucket. And guys, fun fact, 
add some salt because adding salt is going to speed up the process of melting the ice, which means speed up the process of chilling a wine. If that situation happened at home, I wouldn't recommend to use the ice cube. Instead of the ice cube, guys, get some frozen grapes. Yo, your wine is not going to be watery and it will taste absolutely amazing. If your wine, for some reason, it's too warm and that situation happened in the restaurant, guys, don't panic. Tell them the truth. Say, folks, unfortunately, your wine is too warm and cannot be served. Will it be possible if I recommend you something a little bit different, possibly even better, you can offer them maybe a little discount and I'm sure they will understand. If that situation happened at home, put your wine to the fridge for 45 minutes, but don't tell anyone. Thank you for watching, folks. I hope you enjoy it. If so, please don't forget to subscribe. My next video will be about top three tips how to pair wine and food. So stay tuned and see you next time.